welcome to this week's weekly vlog. I have just finished filming in my yoga room today actually. My little yoga room at home. I am often moving all, all around the house. Um, I actually started filming downstairs and ended up getting very distracted. It just wasn't flowing right so I moved up here. So I am going to just pack everything away, get my yoga space back set up, and then it's time to do whoop, my meal prep for the week. Can you guess what it is? But I'm gonna add something different in this week, actually. So I'm gonna get on and do that. got my tofu cooking away in the active fryer downstairs and have had a delivery from Sweaty Betty so I thought I would try on what they have sent me and show it to you. So this is from the super soft collection you can see it. Now it looks like an all-in-one it's not an all-in-one it's um it's a two-piece set so it's got the vest and then the leggings as well and yeah it's from the super from this, their new soft, super soft collection, and it is very soft. Whereas I think like everything before is like smooth. I'd say this is soft, and yeah, loving, 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 loving this combo. My favorite thing about the leggings, definitely the pockets. I really know because when I don't have the pockets, but yeah, loving it. And I wear the seven eights because I've got little legs, but they are like full length on me. <laughs> if you would like twenty percent off from Sweaty Betty. If you either visit the Nottingham store or ring the Nottingham store and place a telephone order and say Top Studio, Caroline Inspired, then you will get 20% off your order. Uh, so that's the Nottingham store only. So I've done things a little bit differently in this bowl. I have roasted some edamame beans and with the chickpeas and the tofu is in smoked paprika, agave nectar and then some peanut butter and then I've got some VO Life feta vegan cheese. There is every colour of the rainbow, it just kind of like buried a little bit deeper down. <laughs> but that's kind of my rule is just basically just use something that is a colour of the rainbow. So this week instead of peppers I have got yellow, I've got sweet corn for the yellow and then carrots for the orange which like I said are in here somewhere. A little koala bear and a tree but a very comfortable tree of course with your cushions and your blankets chore class and whilst we weren't doing pinch it in the chore class we worked on lots of um shoulder mobility work lots of postures um around stability within our shoulders and I thought after class I just have a little play around on my mat had a play doing pincher and held it for the first time ever so I'm like yay because it's something I've been working on for a very long time working on being able to, working towards pincher. And do you know what? It's not about the posture and the shape that you create, but it's all the discipline that comes around it and what the posture can teach us. And, you know, I, when I first had a go at doing pincher, couldn't hold it, but it's taken repetition and time and showing up to get, to being able to hold it today. And that's what I'm celebrating not what the posture looks like or necessarily being able to hold it as to say is everything that's come before and the, the pincher, the holding of the posture is a reflection of that. That is where yoga can be 
so powerful and so transformative. And it's all the lessons that we learn on the mat when we take it with us into everyday life. And it's about who we are when we show up in our in our practice. It's a huge part of our identity. And that's what we're really diving into in this week's um, practices and also through my teachings for our membership as well. Really diving into like, who are we? Who do we want to be? How do we want to show up? And even if you want to change that, then of course, then we can absolutely do that. You can show up in different ways just because you've always maybe shown up before. Maybe whenever you face challenges, you're like, I can't do that. Um, there's no way I'll ever be able to do that. I'm just giving up, having a pity party. If that's how you've maybe dealt with some challenges, that doesn't mean to say that's how you need to have to be right now or how you are in the future. You can always change that. Um, that part of you. So yeah, just thought I'd share that little reflection, a little celebration. Now I'm gonna rest because my arms are feeling it. Um, I'm going to go to my grandma's birds there now, and yeah, go and have some dinner with my grandma, some time with her, and then I'll be heading back home, and then back at the studio again, because it's Tuesday, and doing the chill class again tonight. So this first part of the day, I am working from home, um, getting my videos up on my website, writing my soul mail, and then W-A-L-K-I-N-G Bert. Uh, he's literally just sat right there, so he will um, be listening out for that word. <laughs> so taking him, and then I'll be heading down to the studio for a private session, and then I've got two classes to teach. So... Yeah, I'm going to get stuck in with my working from home part of the day. This is very much a uh, keeping it real chat. <laughs> a little insight, a little reflection that I'm going to share with you. Um, it's very important to me that I share with you... Um, share being vulnerable and show vulnerability and I don't want my YouTube um, channel, my Instagram feed, my teachings in my studio or uh, on my membership to be anything that isn't then real because I feel like when we are, when we show our vulnerability, it is it's courageous. It's a strength. And I think it's something that should be seen as that. And also hopefully then make people feel not so alone. And that's where I've always, always seen, like when I've shared my vulnerability, how much it can then help people and not, not feeling so alone. And the reason why I'm sharing this with you today is that yesterday was a day when I was riding a, a low wave based on an experience that happened yesterday. Yesterday was my my day off, the second of my days off. Now, last week, I went on a wonderful walk with one of my best friends. And then this week, um, I hadn't got anything planned. I'm very happy with that, very content with that. I love to have days where I kind of just go with the flow. Um, so the, 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 the day kind of started off, off, off well, it was, it was lovely. And then I had um, basically an unexpected bit of adulting, let's just say, that I had to do. And I won't go into any details about it, um, but it threw me off and it was something that um, that wasn't then a nice experience to journey through. It 
ended up being a huge waste of my energy and of my time. And it left me feeling all sorts of emotions. It made it left me feeling frustrated, irritable, angry, um, attacked, it, it, all sorts of things. And the reason why I'm sharing those with you is that yes, while I was journeying through them yesterday, that was important that I hold that space to journey through them. But I wanted to talk about those kind of feelings because they are very natural. There's, and I don't want, you know, there shouldn't be any, any shame around feeling that way. So I, I held the space for, for those feels that came up rather than just being like, oh, just get on with it. Um, oh, just let it go, just move on. You can't let go and you can't move on unless you take the time to, to heal and process and journey through it. Um, so I did things like, that's when I did like another meditation and I did, um, I followed along on um, through with a guided a guided asana practice to help release those those emotions and just to hold space for how that adult <laughs> experience had left me feeling, which brings me on to share this with you today. Um, I have found a way to then release anger in a healthy way, and the reason why I say that there is nothing wrong with the feeling of anger; it's the behaviour associated to it. So. For example, we don't really want to be, when we feel angry, things like punching the walls or, you know, throwing things. Um, they're not healthy ways of expressing our anger, but we need to release the anger. So if you might know, um, but I used to play the drums <laughs> when I was um, when I was a teenager. And it's something that I do want to start playing again. But I thought, do you know what? Just that that the physical like movement of playing the drums is such a good release. So I actually ordered these um, at the last weekend. So the universe knew that this uh, that this 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 uh, this adulting trigger and experience was coming. So yesterday I literally popped on my AirPods, um, played some like old tracks that I would listen to when I was um, would have been like from my teenage days. So you're thinking like Blink One Eight Two, um, Arctic Monkeys, and I haven't got the drum kit, but I put all my cushions out, pretending they were drums, and literally was just whacking and hitting the cushions. And ah, it was such a release. I didn't even have to think about what had happened. It was just started to release. And I was like, okay, right. Now I can move on. Now I can let go. Now I can reflect on it. Now I can learn from it. Um, what can I take away from that? You can't do those things where you're actually in it. Um, so yeah, for me, using the my drumsticks was a huge release of that energy and that is something that I'm going to come back to to do regularly because anger there should be no shame around it it is a natural human emotion um I really dived into exploring things like anger and a lot of the emotions that we 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 tend to have uh, shame around and stigma around is like a society and a culture but I um did a somatic therapy course with um, Phoebe Greenacre and she's just incredible. I highly, highly recommend this course. And we did a um, anger practice, an anger release. And that was um, doing things like, like a, like a toddler, like a tantrum, but it was like an adult tantrum, obviously in a very safe space. I actually did it in here. Um, things like screaming into like, it's screaming into a pillow, just releasing, stomping and all those things. And that really helped me release. It was such a powerful feeling um, and release. So that's really stuck with me. And yeah, that's where it kind of, kind of that's where I thought like with the drumsticks, because it's again like a, that physical release. So yeah, just wanted to share that with you. So share that reflection with you and hope that maybe then it's made you feel maybe not so alone. Maybe you could relate to some of those things. Maybe it's made you think about some things as well. And yeah, just wanted to kind of share that life isn't a highlight reel. It's not, it has those highs and it has those lows. And they're natural. You need to like learn how to surf those waves rather than fight against them.
love you. We love you. Jesus. My very lovely friend and absolute beautiful soul uh, has been busy baking and cooking. And last week she brought to the studio a delicious date slice. And then this week I have got two parcels. I feel so spoiled and very lucky. I have got um, some, I think it's like a chocolate, something chocolatey in here. And then I have got a leek and cheese roll to have. And I'm gonna have that for my lunch right now. I mean, this looks incredible. I'm feeling very blessed right now. <laughs> He's so cute. He's so cute. I realised that this vlog has very much been me being at home, walking there, or being at the studio. There hasn't been a lot of doing this week, and I'm okay with that. There was a voice in um, in me that was like, oh, but it might be quite a boring vlog for people to watch, and... And then I like I checked in with myself. One, other people's opinions is none of my business. And also, I am living my life how I want to live my life. For it to be slower, to be more. And so I hope instead then that this vlog has reflected that instead. And I think this is when things like, you know, social media, YouTube, Instagram, whatever can end up being then giving a false impression of what people's lives are like because it can be then that people think it's a highlight reel full of doing which that's what basically it is and that isn't real life that is not sustainable and if we think that that's how other people live we feel a pressure that we need to live that way which is what is leading to all this burnout and overwhelm and um you know stress because we're not living a sustainable life with balance, with being and with doing. So, um, oh, we're wobbling a little bit. So on that note, I thought I'd just share with you a little bit of a reflection, a bit of checking in that I did. In my new work routine, which is what has created a new day off for me, if you don't know what I'm on about, then say check out last week's vlog, um, which means that then I'd created this new routine to have a day off, which means the vlogging and my editing of my vlog gets done on a Friday afternoon. Now, because I was had that thought of, I ah, the vlog's gonna be, it's just quite samey, it's just me in, in the house, going to the studio, blah, 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 blah. Um, I thought, oh, well, then I might film a little bit this evening because I am gonna like pop out, nothing majorly exciting, but, um, and then tomorrow I'm doing something. And then I was like, no, 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 no. Because one, for the reasons I've just said, and two, this is the new work routine, which has then created me to have a day off to have better boundaries around work and life. So if I then do vlogging today and tomorrow and then don't edit this one until tomorrow afternoon, then that's going against what I'd set out to do. That means I'll be working on a Saturday afternoon, which has become a no for me now. I used to, I used to but I'm like, no, not anymore. So yeah, I can just finish this vlog here and I can then just do some vlogging while I'm out and about and just put it on to next week's vlog. Problem solved. I just thought I'd share that insight with you because um, that's the kind of, they're like practices of yoga to be able to do that. The self-study, the checking in, being truthful with yourself. Um, so the Svadhyaya is the self-study and the checking in. The Sacha is all about truth, being truthful and honest with yourself, even when it means putting your hands up. And then Ahimsa is the practice of doing it all with non-violence towards um, yourself. So, yeah. <laughs> it's also an insight into my very whatever mind I don't know what that was um but yeah so I'm gonna wrap this vlog up now I am very much trying to build a community on here and I am so grateful to the beautiful souls who have been commenting on my weekly vlogs it it just means like I can then start to like when I'm creating these vlogs it's this sense of community and I can then 
in my head to start to like visualize who then I am speaking to rather than it seeming like I'm speaking to myself, if that makes sense. Um, the power of connection. So yeah, if you loved watching it um, or if you had any insights, anything you'd like to share, then please um, write a comment. And then I'd very much appreciate it if you can do all that other stuff. It makes me feel very awkward saying it, a bit cringy actually. Um, but the whole subscribe, like, share. I'm gonna end it now and I look forward to seeing you next week.